Good morning, everybody. It's a Monday. It's only about 10 to 6. <clears throat> Let's see how this week goes. Let's see if I can continue on <clears throat> this regular schedule. I got up, which I have been doing anyway, but I just couldn't seem to get out of the house. You know, and taking the dogs out or letting them go out because nowadays it's like they don't want to just be let out. They want me to take them out. <clears throat> They're so used to us walking, I guess. So I open the door and like, go, go pee pee, go poo poo. They're looking at me like, girl, if you don't get those leashes and harnesses on us. <laughs> so that's why I think I have issues with getting in here in the mornings. Anyway, that's the storage closet. I know some of you, you guys who have been with me for a minute, you guys have seen this space. It's just the storage space for phlebotomy supplies, any and everything that's needed for the lab because the lab is right around this corner. So it's right there for us. And uh, this morning, instead of like jumping right into the peas, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing what you guys want me to do, like, showing you how to hold that back container hub so it doesn't slip so you can learn how to do the multiple tubes and things like that which I've shown before and I know it's not the easiest thing to learn <clears throat> so I'm gonna just go over it real quick this morning because so you guys know how the system works. It's the evacuated tube system and it's for multiple tube collection. So, and this is what you usually either use a 21 or a 23 gauge butterfly, I mean needle, straight needle. And this is what I call a straight needle. Somebody was like, well, what is a straight needle? A straight needle is your single needle, just a needle by itself versus your butterfly needle, which we all know is your actual butterfly and it's the BD Vacutainer push button. And it's called the push button because it has that little push button that you use to retract the needle. Whereas your straight needle has a little safety device that you click and cover the needle and then dispose of it. So, with all of that being said, and trying to collect multiple tubes, I, um, I tend to tell people to basically use the feet on the bottom. Once I mentioned them, somebody said, oh my gosh, I never noticed the feet. Yes, those feet help you with stability, not only with stability, but they help you with placing the vacutainer in. You use your feet, you press, and removing them. You don't, rem you don't use both feet to remove it, but I kind of, yeah, I guess you can, because my thumb hits this one, and then my index finger hits this side. Therefore, I push with my index finger and kind of pull out with my thumb. So what you're gonna to have to do is get one, play with it, and <clears throat> find your comfort zone. Because for me, it's this. When I'm inserting, I use the feet. And I know I've shown people that once I put my hand on the patient, my pinky tends to go out on the outside for stability as well. So the needle is in the vein. And that's what it looks like for me. I'm using the feet, and then I have a little leverage over here. So when I switch hands, which you don't have to do, but it's easy, because what are you gonna do if your hand is like this right now? You know what I mean? So I hold tightly, firmly. That way I've got no movement. Meanwhile, I'm keeping my eye on the tip of my needle. So now I'm gonna use these feet again and pop this tube out, bam and insert another one and with the feet. So it's all in those little feet. So try that. Let me know how it feels. And um, we can go over it again. I'm sure I'll have somebody to stick or I can actually do myself with the butterfly because you still have the vacutainer holder at the end of the butterfly and you can always practice that way as well. So if it's comfortable, 
getting started to go ahead and use the butterfly, use the butterfly, but don't get in the habit of using it all the time. That's where I kind of feel like mm, you're really not going to learn your craft if you don't try with straight needles. So don't shy away from butterflies because I don't use them because I do and will encourage you to use them, especially if you're trying to get a handle on the holder and maneuvering your tubes when you have a multiple uh, tube collection patient so yeah thumbs up this video if you want me to do this again tomorrow I can do the butterfly or this afternoon and uh, but go ahead and thumbs up this morning y'all don't know it goes up around 9 30 so then around 3 3 30 I'm kind of ready to do, do the afternoon video so if I see a lot of thumbs up I'll know okay well let me continue from what I did this morning so yes unless I say different you know unless I say otherwise so anyway Monday morning let's get this Monday started thumbs up this video please let me know if you like it comment down below and um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this day going I've got to go up here and do these PPEs and uh, you know I think they're gonna get someone else to come in with me like on my time like 630 so that they can dump those peas before the lab actually opens at 7 but I mean, I've been doing a pretty good job the last couple days, and this morning it's not that many. Tube station is cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just like to show you guys around for those of you who are new. Go ahead and subscribe. Don't be shy. Y'all part of my extended family now. If you're watching, you're part of the extended family, whether you subscribe or not. But um, I'd like for you to subscribe and stick around because this is what we do along with other stuff. So I will see you guys later this afternoon. And uh, yeah, we'll pick up from there. I'll see y'all then. Bye.